Let's go. Sonny, we gotta haul some cheese into town. Clean out the ground. But there's bandits growling just outside. Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. So pale if you ate onions and oil. Looks not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats. 
Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> You're all all geared, that it? Got it right at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> nope. I'm the one got his fists. <laughs> oh, come on. with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest. He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned, not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside.
<laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. some special occasion or just feel like feasting every occasion special today we celebrate a dubbing who's squire herodo's new saber i've hit on a name for her fair saber i dub thee traditiana <laughs> <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Hey, She went to a fair with a sister or cousin. Matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Down she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Post papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Cliver was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. cliver has got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. 
Reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Smells of... Uh, they were cooking Fistech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. here for a second, hid, and ran on. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Bow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there.
Not your lucky day. someone who could explain them to me.
What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? I wouldn't mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two. Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six. Great start. Now step aside. Seven, oh. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. Joe, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. Exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. Honestly, couldn't give a shit about your grief. Not the tiniest, runniest, greenest little shit in the world. You persecuted others, destroyed them. Now you've met with that same fate. So you got exactly what you deserved. A witcher moralist. Amusing, but... Feel I've met you somewhere before. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia. Jack to Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our death. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant! Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. Eternal
Come on, Roach. your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, help with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, fuss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. 
A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Falling to a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form? Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye, what else would it be? Show me what you have in stock. So long. Boy, why there? What for? Life kick you in the ass. Had enough. Yes. Terrible beast prowls the sewers down that away. Best avoided altogether. Devoured dozens of maidens, folks, eh? And many of all fighters gone in and never come out. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... Good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always. Mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times, as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But, uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army force you to come here, too? Or are you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but... something attacked us. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these... slurping sounds. That's all I know. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. 
All dead. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Rudanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you, collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Act careful. Just the hoping the might still be below here. weakened one of the walls. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well. Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nal stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. He's probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. The lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Geralt! Are you alright? I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something else. Be careful.
Geralt. Are you all right? I'm fine. You? How'd you get in here? I told you. Vern had a key to the grate. Look. It's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Does that mean anything? Well, it means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting the beast likes alcohol? Mm -hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Shotty, watch out. Move! Basically intact, just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. A woman. Must have come here hoping to find her prince. bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the left, that would be best. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? 
We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Gather rush, I'll root. come to and he can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the pistol kit where where am I on the albatross or the fuck bath oil it's the strange tongue is it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard seems you killed their prince Sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. I heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king, to find their prince. Lift his curse. Wagered their honor, that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So. Must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Caligrand, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence, and your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breaches. We been at sea long? <sighs> Dunno, rightly. Not that long. Though, on the other hand, <laughs> well, what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. Not I'm sure of. Them. Listen, there was a young woman, the medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. El Cal! Oriyal! What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to you, Captain? Alakal Sorkan, Galavat Kar U Albata again. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Balar, Karbarethaner. You'll be dead already. Revhag, the Aram Ekar. Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. Torgate, the Alami. We swore on our brother. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Vilth, Alakhe, Ul, Nugulath. What? El Kal! Vyoth. Vyoth. Alke ul egulath. El kal. Inkal avr ikel ugeherevn ul vitar. What just happened? What did he say? He said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, and notice, like them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. I've got a long voyage ahead. 
Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Vaunter Odin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this lock doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With... no one. Oh, never like boats. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomp churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. <laughs> Didn't bargain for no storm. I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like they do with the other? Other drop. We could do nothing. We deliver mine this one. Apart from all else. The hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I usually see it. What kind of hell? Are flaying, watering, destroying for regicide in
We'll just snare you in bonds, eyes glow. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Don't know why he's on your shit list, but I've got no quarrel with him. I believe you do, but I've yet to realize it. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn. Gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. 
He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Know what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please, hear me out. You shall see Olgierd as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgierd had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. <sighs> All seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgierd, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgierd. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Fine. I'll go see Olgierd with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. <laughs>